commanded us to pray for thy kingdom come. I know most of us are familiar with the idea of God's kingdom in heaven. It will be the dwelling place of all who are in God's book of life, i.e. all who are found in Christ who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. But quite literally, when we pray the Lord's Prayer, this is not only a request for the future, it also means right now. Jesus tells us repeatedly that the kingdom of God is near us and within us. The moment we truly accept God's rule or God's lordship over our lives in our hearts, we then literally enter the kingdom of God here on earth. This is why Jesus commanded us to pray for and to ask for God's kingdom here on earth and in our lives. The theologian George Ladd stated, Because of the messianic work of Christ on the cross, a new kind of existence has been opened up to people. Existence in Christ. This means existence in the realm of a new order. It is Paul's assertion that in Christ the new has come even though the old age has not yet passed away." End quote. Harper's Bible Dictionary says this, Jesus' miracles demonstrated that the end time kingdom of God, in which God would overthrow the power of Satan, has now arrived in his person. So what does the kingdom of God look like today, here on earth, and why pray for thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven? Well, we'll get back to, the, to these questions. Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, the thief comes only to kill and steal and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Have life to the full, right here, right now. The result of God's kingdom coming into our current lives is thy will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's right, we can enjoy a heaven-like existence ruled by God's perfect will in part right now. God is that cool. It's like not having to wait until Christmas to open all of our presents. We can open some of God's gifts to us now if we pray, asking Him for them. Asking for Thy kingdom come. Things like joy, peace, blessing, power, protection, and guidance in our day-to-day -day lives. It means we can have access to the spiritual gifts from God, access to His miraculous healing and prophetic word in our lives. Of course, we do still live on this earth where the enemy still has influence over us. We cannot fully experience the kingdom of God until Jesus comes back. we also need to continue to pray for Jesus' return and the future perfect kingdom of God. We are to look forward to the devil no longer having influence over us and the end of pain, suffering, and injustice. But as for today, we are really not enjoying life to the full here and now, as Jesus promised, if we are not praying for God to be the ruler and king of our earthly lives. You know, this is the vision God gave me to illustrate what it is like to live in God's kingdom here on earth. When we pray for God to bring his heavenly kingdom and perfect will into our current lives, we are given wings, so to speak. Kind of like the Red Bull commercials. Though we you know, are still residents of this earth, we are given the wings to fly above it. Our 
our spirit is able to joyfully fly above the torment, evil, and struggles of this earth, even though, you know, we must physically endure the hardships. not feeling like your life is joyfully blessed or that maybe there's something missing in your life keeping you from having life to the full, ask yourself, is God truly my king and am I allowing him to be the ruler of and controller of my life and heart or have I been in control? Think about it and pray about it and pray for God's kingdom to come, you know, quickly into the future and right now into your life as well. That's all for today. God bless and have a great week.